what's up guys, thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. So yeah guys, you know, don't forget to leave a like, you're gonna like this one, it is a really, really good battle to have with Brian. Brian is a good friend of mine from both Pimp Night stream and my own stream actually. He usually hangs around there, you know, he's a really, really threatening trainer because he is really good at predicting and always using powerful pokes to, you know, trying to outpower me really uh, and any opponent he's going up against which made this a really fun battle i actually got a really bad start off here and really struggled to really do you know go go in hand in hand with him and it turned out to be a really close battle because of that other than that he's using toxic croak um it is a uu poke he didn't know it at the moment and i said it was actually fine uh, but it turned out to be somewhat of a different or a hard poke to take on other than that, he uses Exoto, Gorbis, Lipod, Driftblim, and Jumpluff. Jumpluff is really, really tough for me because I don't have an ice move on my team, and that sucks. Uh, other than that, I'm myself using Radicate, Octillery, Lantern, Pharaoh, Slurpuff, and Rampardos. I was actually going to have Gothrita here on this team, but obviously got banned, so I don't have any defensive core on my team. Um, that is why Slurpuff is on there. But it really sucks. Um, I, I'm working on it, but like I said, it turned out to be a really good battle just because of it. So nevertheless, guys, enjoy. So right from the start here, I actually decided to go for Eradicate, knowing I can probably hit whatever comes in, you know, pretty hard. Um, I can, but Jump Club is faster and has a Sleep Powder. So that really sucks for me because that puts my Eradicate to sleep. So, whoa, don't get the Flame Orb activated. And like I said, I am still asleep, obviously. So I'm going to stay around, he goes for acrobatics, and it does way more than I want it to. So I get enough assault off there, I don't do enough. I don't want to reveal just yet, I have Sucker Punch, plus he could go for another Sleep Powder. So I'm going into Clover, because I, like I said, I have the Sleep Powder. He gets the Seed Bomb up, and god damn! <laughs> um, so yeah, I actually have to switch that out now, because I can't stay in, I can't set Clover just yet. So I'm going to Fairy. Uh, resist that seed bomb, you know, not well, but you know, that that is okay. Um, obviously, their acrobatics would have been much more threatening. So, we're going for Drill Pack there. It is Choice Band instead of Wide Lens because that pretty much means that Sniper, when it's activated, is going to render anything useless. So, his Corbis doesn't do, got, get to do anything. Um, sadly, though, I am not faster than uh, both a Drift Slim or um, a Jump Loss. My Pharaoh is not suited for this fight at all. So, he's going for Psychic there. I take that rather well. I'm actually in a stance where I think a Shadow Ball could take me out, but not another Psychic. So he definitely think I'm slower for some reason. He went for rest. It might have been a mislick thinking about it. So I actually get the rest stuff, which is really good for me. I am the um, Sleep Talk set, so I'm really, really stally, very specially defensive, max HP. So I can really just stay around. Usually in my life, though, I get rest, obviously. Love it. It is amazing getting that one off. I hate when that happens. So we get another Shadow Ball off there, and I'll actually finally pull off a Thunderbolt from my Sleep Talk, which is great. <laughs> so almost killing it there, uh, obviously, and uh, he'll actually decide to go for a rest here, trying to prolong it. I mean, if I were him, I'd probably attack me, but he'll actually show me here that he got the Chesto, which is, you know, I like that set because Riflum got some decent HP, it's actually walls and stuff. Lantern being the stronger poke here, plus getting paralyzation. Uh, real sorry for that, really, because that really means that I can finish this off with a skull there. I went for skull in case I decide to switch out. Uh, so, anyway, here comes the jump load. And I was thinking I was smart here. I was so sure he was gonna go for a sleep powder. So, I went for a sleep talk. So, I survived the seed bomb, and well, uh, why? Why did I do that? This I mean, I was just starting to turn things around, and now everything is shit again. So now I have to... I was thinking, you know what, Pharaoh can probably take this one on really well there. And no, it's faster. I had no idea it was faster. Actually faster by 10 base, power, oh, base points, so god damn it. So I actually have to... Um, I have to find a way to take this one on. Uh, so I'm going to side, you know what, might as well bring Slurpuff, setting up cold mines. I know I can wall whatever comes in. Well. That is not entirely correct because he's got a critical hit and that really really sucks because I can easily have walled that and I get the red card into the Toxic Croak. What the hell? So now I, I, I can't take in a Poison Punch but since my Unburn is already activated I might as well do some damage on this thing. Go for a Dazzling Gleam, neutral damage and huh, <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> so yeah, that really sucks me. I don't think that crit matter, but you know, I got the hacks against me and it's really, really, really annoying. So anyway, going to Kesha here. Uh, gonna bait him, you know, I was going for fun away, pretty much rendered useless. He predicts that, going to Exalt too, and... Oh! <laughs> he gets me paralyzed. And there's really nothing I can do here. Uh, so I'm going to decide to switch out there because I can't really stay around. So going to Rex here. Uh, he goes for Confuse Ray. I get that. Paralyze is a confusion, real annoying. And uh, I'm just going to go for a facade here. Get in the flame orb activated. Go through the confusion and one shot the Exalt too. Finally, something good happened. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in the range where I only can, you know, take another hit there. I'm gonna hope that he doesn't go for a. Um, Sleep power or anything like that, and pulling up to a sucker punch, killing that goddamn jump up. Yes! <laughs> Things are working out. I mean, I'm far from safe, but you know what? I can deal with it, I guess. So, anyway, he gets the power, I get the artillery. You know, it, it might look like I get the best switch in here because I do survive the hyper voice and get the thunder wave up. But I was thinking at this time that I only got Rampardos left. Rampardos is not faster. And I can't take in a drain punch. I need actually to um, I need to get you know some damage on this thing and then set up a rock polish against this pyro and try to survive a sucker punch afterward. I need this thing to be fully paralyzed, obviously. I get the paralyzation two times in a row. I didn't want that just then. So yeah, uh, it pulls up the hyper voice, killing it off. Uh, like I said there guys, um, I had another strategic thing here to go in like my son really just wanted uh, to pull off this rock polish, hoping it doesn't get a hyper voice off there. He actually goes for the Neva, uh, which is, you know, not a bad set actually. So I'm gonna finish this off with a crunch here, and uh, now the question is, now that this pyro is dead, can I win against the Toxicrobe? Well, I'm actually not gonna narrate that one at all guys, I'm actually gonna make my live stream feed uh, tell you how out. Sorry. Tell you guys how that ended. So anyway guys, enjoy. You're gonna love this. <laughs> you know what? It's kind of fine. I mean, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose the Yu Yu poke. And you know what? I can deal with that. Not. Come on. Uh, oh, yes. Ugh, oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I got it! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry for overreacting, but that was... Oh, I was close. Man, I was close. Wow. GG Bryant. Fuck it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that was a serious victory there. Woo! So yeah. What a finish. What a lucky finish for me, really. And like I said, I needed that rock polish, you know, to fr to force him to go for a sucker punch. And, uh, oh, wow. I pulled through. It was a really, really entertaining battle because it was such a tough battle, really, just for me. Nothing worked in my favor, and still I was able to pull that one off. And I also want to thank Bryant, being one of those good battlers, really. I always enjoy battling you. So anyway guys, you know, thank you as always for watching. I love the support, you know that. <laughs> and also I do want to give away tomorrow, so make sure to check my that one out on Twitter. I'll do it live here on YouTube, or not live, but I actually post while I'm doing it. So other than that guys, like I said, thank you for watching and have a good day. Alright, take care guys. Bye.